back to another video. Today's video is going to be a recording of a motivational speech I gave last weekend at a conference. And um, I just wanted to give it to y'all so that way y'all ha you had it. So today I want to talk about fear. My story is I was born with something called CP or cerebral palsy. That is why I have trouble walking. And because I have, and why I have bad bones. So it just, it doesn't just make me have trouble walking. There's a lot more to it. It made growing up harder than a so-called normal person. I had countless hours of physical and occupational therapy. And then I fell behind in school and wasn't on the correct grade level for my age. I'm working on catching up now. It also made making friends very hard because I had a parrot. A parrot is a person who helps you around school and just makes sure you don't fall and helps when needed. But who wants to be friends with the girl in the locker and an adult who walks her to her classes every day and hangs out with her at lunch? Two years ago, I was sitting in class and I started having trouble seeing so I thought it was just time to get a new pair of glasses because it had been about a year since my last eye doctor appointment. Also it was around the time that COVID-19 hit Arkansas and everything was closing. What a great time to have a vision problem. I was a eventually I was able to see several eye specialists and I found out I have something called optic nerve atrophy. It is if the eye is a camera which is connected using the optic nerve similar to a connection cord and the brain is 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 a computer. It's connected to. For me, it's like when your iPhone charger is all messed up. And so I don't have, also I don't have any peripheral vision, so I have to turn my head to see things. Around the same time, I started having migraine headaches. I missed over 20 days of school. Keep in mind, I've never, before that, I never missed school. Last December, I switched from Monmouth High School to Arkansas School for the Blind. I learned that less than less than 20% of blind people can't see anything at all. When I started losing my vision, I was afraid to fall asleep at night because I was worried that when I woke up, I would not be able to see at all. Then my right eye got worse and I could only see through a small, narrow tunnel in my left eye. This was helpful because it helped me realize that, that it wasn't scary and that I shouldn't have worried in the first place. Have you ever been on an airplane where the first 10 minutes are, of flying are f smooth and then all of a sudden you have turbulence. During the turbulence, you never know when it's going to end or when it's going to stop. But then the turbulence ends and your mind goes to thinking, why did I ever worry in the first place? Or why was I ever worried in the first place? 
that is how life is because you go through great times in life where you don't have anything wrong going on and then something happens that tests your faith and you don't know how long it's going to last this way the way I go through life another way I go through life is thinking of it as a video game with levels for me level one was defeating CP level two was migraine headaches or defeating migraine headaches now level three is experiencing blindness and man I can't wait to beat it I hope you liked that motivational speech I gave and so if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share this with your family and friends thanks for listening bye guys